الحمد لله الذي أنزل على أبيه الكتاب وأحلم أن يجعل له يواجه أدمه سبحانه وتعالى وأشكره هو وهو أحد الحمد والثناء وأشهد أن لا إله إلا وده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبد الرسول ومستعف اللهم سلم وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وعليه وصحبه وسلم الحمد لله في العالمين وتنك الله ومالي for every opportunity to remind us once, once again. When those warnings have finished and Allah Almighty brings about his plan, uh, no one can say anything. And it's just a horrible thing that all throughout history, mankind has very few have ever taking Allah Almighty's message, his guidance, very seriously. It's always been, always a few of, a lot of times and a few of former times uh, that take Allah Almighty's guidance and message uh, seriously. Allah says, O mankind, fear your Lord, for the convulsion of the hour of judgment will be a thing terrible. The day ye shall see it, every mother giving suck shall forget her suckling baby, and every pregnant female shall drop her load unformed. Thou shalt see mankind as in a drunken riot, yet not drunk, but dreadful will be the wrath of Allah Almighty. And yet, among men, there are such as dispute about Allah without knowledge, and follow every evil one obstinate in rebellion. About the evil one, it is decreed that whoever turns to him for worship, for friendship, him will he lead astray and he will guide him to the penalty of the fire. Allah Almighty, the, the Quran does not confirm Islam. What confirms Islam is the servants of Allah Almighty. Because as we said many, many times before, uh, Allah Almighty taught us the Quran. He created us. Then he taught us intelligence. He did not create us and then teach us Quran and intelligence. So we get it twisted we are reading and looking for signs when we ourselves are the signs. And we're looking outside of ourselves, never looking inside of ourselves, and so therefore we're never seeing what Allah Almighty has put in us as his servants. We've been ordered to be deputies of this planet. We're not deputies of the hereafter and thereafter, we are deputies now, so the life that Allah Almighty has sent us here to is a very, very serious, very, very serious life that we still take lightly. Our whole existence should evolve around our guidance as opposed to our guidance evolving around everything else. That is backwards. That is backwards. And that's why our time is not being used wisely. That's why we have illnesses that we've never had. We have, uh, we have people in, uh, in drunken stupors that we've never had. We have all kinds of abominations that people do that has never been done before. This is because people are not where they're supposed to be. They are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And so therefore, they're not hitting the goal. And the law almighty says, and he threatens us, there is a chastisement for those who are taking lightly that guidance that Allah Almighty sends us in the person of someone. Allah always sends it in the person of someone. We talked last week about the volcano eruption. 
in Iceland. Iceland. How in the world does fire come from ice? And they were saying that in that volcanic ash, there were lightning bolts. Lightning bolts and volcanic ash. Like thunder and lightning coming from the sky. In a thunderstorm or a tornado, how in the world can such things happen? Allah is always warning us, warning us, warning us, warning us. Allah says it's going to be so terrible that pregnant women are going to drop their unborn babies unformed. They will forget about their suckling children. They will leave their children. The children's hair will become white. We are upon that. The signs, the handwriting is on the wall. And yet we still sit idly by like we don't have a clue why we're in this life. We're here to be deputies. We're not here to be drug addicts. We're not here to be pimps or prostitutes or liars or, or thieves or murderers. Of having promiscuous behavior. That is not why we're here. And if we're representing that, Allah has threatened us and He has said, if we're going to do that, we're going to get the same thing that Shaitan is going to get because that's what He teaches. And if we're going to be that stupid to dishonor what Allah has given us, to think that we're getting by and we're being deceptive in the things that we do, we are fools. We have lost our minds. It's not going to be a beautiful thing. Allah Almighty says it's going to be a terrible thing. We're seeing the signs. It's just like the weather report. We hear it's going to be a thunderstorm or it's going to be a snowstorm. These are meteorologists that are actually studying the weather and how the weather is moving from a north place into a southern or central so we may prepare for ourselves and yet we get our umbrellas or our clothing so we'll be prepared when the snowstorm comes. The prophets did the same thing. Those inheritors of the prophet do the same thing. They warn us of the wrath that Allah Almighty is sending for us to prepare ourselves so we may have time to be protected and sheltered. If it comes on us and we have been told, told about it and we are still taken in by that storm, who is the blame? Who is the blame? And that's what's going to make it so horrible. So those people, they beg us. They come to us all the time with the same message. Leave Shaitan. Come to Allah Almighty. Allah will give you shelter. Don't be left unprotected. There's a wrath. And yet it goes in one end, come out the other. And that's why the faces of disobedient people will look horrible. Horrible will be their faces. Miserable will be their feelings. Why do we have to wait for a storm to destroy us when we're being told of the storm approaching. 